You will need one pound of confectionery sugar, three egg whites, one half teaspoon cream of tartar, and a squeeze of lemon juice. Crack and separate your eggs and put the whites into a mixing bowl. Add your cream of tartar and the sugar and then the squeeze of lemon juice. Mix that with a whisk, scrape down the bowl, and beat until it looks like this. Add your coloring. Now this is just a tiny bit of pink Wilton gel. Cover the remaining icing with a damp cloth to keep it from drying out. I added another about one quarter cup confectionery sugar to make the icing stiffer so that the flowers will hold their shape. Here's what it looks like. This little spring wedding cake is a very small cake. It's a nine inch, a six inch, and a four inch. So here's how many flowers I used. I used 18 daffodils, nine daisies, 10 roses, 16 of the little violet flowers, 38 leaves, and 10 of the little violet kind of um, grape looking things. Then the vines, I did about, I believe I did like 50 of those. I'm gonna start with the roses. This is a tip number 103 Wilton. And the rose begins with a small ribbon of icing, which I pipe directly onto the toothpick. Don't worry if they're not perfect because this part you won't see. Put those into styrofoam to dry. For the leaves, the flower base, and the stamens, color your icing with green. This is Wilton Moss Green. Now using a round tip, number 10 Wilton, make a cone shape and pipe enough of these for the daffodils and the daisies. For the fantasy flower, use a number 10 round and pipe quarter inch stamens on the end of the toothpick. Set those aside to dry. Now pipe the leaves onto waxed paper. I'm using a 352, number, uh, number 352 Wilton. The daisies are piped onto squares of waxed paper using a flower nail. Use a 102, start at the center, the thick side down, and squeeze as you move the tip up and then back down to form a petal. Now you want to make sure that you keep your tip at a 45 degree angle for the, for the daisy. These are mini roses and you can use a 102 or 103 for these. I pipe to center three petals and then five to six petals. I call these fantasy flowers because I made these up. They remind me of a sweet pea. Basically, it's three petals around a green stamen. Some yellow centers finish off the daisy flowers. And I made these up as well with extra purple violet icing. I love the daffodils, they're so sweet. You can pipe them directly onto the green bases. Now use the number 103 to make five petals, holding your bag at a 45 degree angle. 
Make sure you have a damp cloth handy for all of your royal icing flower piping. For the center, hold the bag at a 90 degree angle and squeeze as you turn the base to form a circle. You can go either direction here. A piece of styrofoam can be used to dry your flowers. Let your flowers dry for at least a couple of hours, and overnight is even better. So I messed up the petal a little bit. You can use toothpicks. They come in really handy to do little fixes. The daisies are glued on with just a little dab of royal icing. The gum paste finds are really easy to make and they make a beautiful accent as well as a filler. All you do is you just roll out your gum paste really thin and I used a green, I used moss green for mine. After you uh, roll it out, you cut the strips of various lengths and then you twist them around a pencil or a dowel rod. Then just let them dry overnight. And that's it. I have a lot of tutorials on putting cakes together, so this particular part will be sped up. I will place a link to those videos for you though below in the description box. For the spring wedding cake tutorial, I'm using my vanilla cake recipe. And for the filling, I'm using my easy buttercream recipe which is just butter, sugar, and flavoring. For the outside of the cake, though, however, I use my Italian meringue buttercream recipe. Both of those can be found in the links below. And if you'd like to get a copy of my top five buttercream recipes, click the link below to sign up for my newsletter, and I'll send you the link to download your free copy. I'm crumb coating the cakes here. This is for catching any loose crumbs and also to lock in the moisture. Bubble straws, or, or even regular size straws, can be used to make dowels for your cakes. I like to start by putting one straw in and then using the frosting mark as a guide to mark and cut the rest of the dowels. I then use either coconut or graham cracker crumbs to prevent the cardboard. For this tier, I simply cut the dowels right in the cake. If the cake looks very even, I will sometimes do this. The center dowel is sharpened with a pencil sharpener and then pushed in from the top to the bottom. An easy way to raise your cakes to eye level is with a stack of books. For the basket weaving, I'm using my IMBC recipe and this is a number 10 round Wilton tip. Use a round tip if you want to create more of a Nantucket style basket. I prefer that or I also like to use a star tip. So star tip makes a really pretty basket weave as well. Pipe a vertical line and then horizontal lines across the vertical line.
Here's another angle. Have a sharp knife handy to remove mistakes. I do have a very detailed video on basket weaving as well, so look in the description box for that link. I chose a simple pearl border for the bottom of each cake with a number 10 Wilton and a ruffle for the edging. All right, so I've got my basket weave cake ready to decorate and I did a little experiment in the back here of a bouquet that I'm gonna use around the whole cake. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and you can watch me decorate it and then I'll see you on the other side. I decided to make a little topper out of white chocolate, kind of like Rosie style. I just saw her tutorial on her feathered um, white chocolate shards, which was really cool. I didn't have a brush, however, so I used just a spoon and I spread out the white chocolate in a little bit of green and a little bit of white, and then I used a toothpick to kind of create little edges on there. So um, I did that with four ounces of white chocolate or 114 grams and then I used moss green and a little bit of leaf green 
just to make a really soft color green. I also made another one with squiggles, just in case. I made a few pieces just to play around with. When you do place your pieces on top of the cake, do it quickly because your, the heat of your hands will quickly melt that chocolate. And I also used buttercream underneath to kind of stick it in so it would stay. I hope you enjoyed my spring theme wedding cake and that you took a moment to go see Rosie's spring theme wedding cake as well. And also, I hope that you're inspired to either try to do some of this on your own. And if you do, please share that with me at Wedding Cakes For You. You can leave your story over there and share your pictures. And you can also use hashtag Lorelei Look. And the question that I wanted to ask you, if you could please comment in the box below, is would you like to see me do a live on these flowers because I would love to do that so um, just leave me a comment below let me know specifics like is there a certain type of flower that you want me to share um, a certain type of icing um, a certain technique and I would love to um, to do that for you okay well thanks a lot for being here and happy spring and I'll see you next week I do upload every week so you'll see a new video every week and sometimes a bonus and now soon we're going to do live hopefully next week Okay, bye.